hey medicos welcome back in this lecture we are going to talk on the topic which is from neuroanatomy and it is very important that is internal capsule and in this video we are going to cover the introduction of this internal capsule then we will discuss about the parts of internal capsule then fibers in the internal capsule and their clinical importance and at the end we are going to discuss about blood supply of internal capsule look over here here we have the image of internal capsule it is white matter between caudate nucleus and thalamus medially while lentiform nucleus laterally look over here here we have the caudate nucleus which is highlighted in purple color and thalamus in red while in green here we have the lentiform nucleus what is white matter look over here here we have the coronal section of the brain and this is the white matter and this is the gray matter in white matter we have different types of fibers and it allows the communication so in white matter we have commissural fiber projection fibers and association fibers but in internal capsule we have projection fibers so it connect higher brain centers with lower brain center like cortex to the brain stem now let's discuss about parts of internal capsule look over this diagram this is the diagram of internal capsule look over here this is the anterior limb and here we have the posterior limb in between these two limbs we have genu and below this lentiform nucleus we have sublentiform part while here we have the retro lentiform part so this is the parts of internal capsule anterior limb genu posterior limb sublentiform part and retro lentiform part many students are confused about pre preparation guys i personally recommend you to watch lectures from preplader the lectures are very crisp and concise and the best thing is this all lectures are updated for next pattern question bank is extensive and with lots of incredible features custom modules with attached explanation tags and question related videos and treasures they also provide handwritten notes intended to give an edge to your preparation and notes includes important information box how to remember box images clinical based questions case scenario so guys preplader app is very good app for your prop examination preparation as well as pg exam preparation download the app from the link in the description and review it at your own to review the app there is no need to spend even single rupees they have kept few lectures question bank notes and previous year questions free for all users if you are a new user then you will get the entire content on the app free for 24 hours so download the app so let's back to our lecture anterior limb present between caudate nucleus and lentiform nucleus and the perfect answer is anterior part of lentiform nucleus while genu it is bent between anterior limb and posterior limb and its concavity facing towards lateral anterior limb it is lies between thalamus and posterior part of lentiform nucleus sublentiform part it's below the lentiform nucleus while retro lentiform part it is behind the lentiform nucleus so this is the parts of internal capsule let's talk about the boundaries of internal capsule so medially we have caudate nucleus and thalamus look over here and laterally we have lentiform nucleus this is the lentiform nucleus so this is the boundaries of internal capsule let's talk about most important topic of this lecture that is fibers of internal capsule so look over here this is our cerebral cortex and here we have brain stem and thalamus we have two types of neurons sensory neurons and motor neurons so the sensory fibers start from thalamus and end at cerebral cortex while the motor fibers start from cerebral cortex and end at brain stem and spinal cord sensory neuron it is also called as ascending corticopetal in physics we learn about two forces centrifugal force and centripetal force centripetal means toward the center and centrifugal means away from the center sensory fibers it is also called as corticopetal fibers means it is toward the cerebral cortex while motor neurons it is also called as corticofugal neurons why because these fibers are going away from the cerebral cortex let's discuss in detail now i said motor neurons are from cerebral cortex to brain stem and spinal cord so we have three types of fiber corticopontine fibers pyramidal fibers and extrapyramidal fibers so in name itself 
कॉर्टिकोपोन्टाइन मीन्स कॉर्टिक्स टू पॉन्स कॉर्टिकोपोन्टाइन फाइबर राइट इन कॉर्टिकोपोन्टाइन फाइबर वी हैव फोर डिफरेंट टाइप्स आपको पता है इन और सेरेबल कॉर्टिक्स वी हैव फोर पार्ट्स राइट फ्रंटल लोब पराइटल लोब ऑसिबिटल लोब एंड टेम्पोरल लोब सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस लोब्स इच लोब से फाइबर्स जाते हैं कहाँ पॉन्स में दैट्स वाई वी हैव नेम्स लाइक फ्रंटोपोन्टाइन फाइबर्स पराइटोपोन्टाइन फाइबर्स ऑसिपिटोपोन्टाइन फाइबर्स एंड टेम्परोपोन्टाइन फाइबर्स सो दिस इज द टाइप्स ऑफ कॉर्टिकोपोन्टाइन फाइबर फ्रॉम कॉर्टिक्स टू पॉन्स नाउ द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ मोटर न्यूरोन्स आर पिरामिडल फाइबर्स सो इन पिरामिडल फाइबर्स वी हैव टू डिफरेंट टाइप कॉर्टिको न्यूक्लियर एंड कॉर्टिको स्पाइनल सो कॉर्टिको न्यूक्लियर मीन कॉर्टिक्स टू ब्रेन स्टेम विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज बल्बर न्यूक्लियर फाइबर्स एंड द सेकेंड टाइप इज कॉर्टिको स्पाइनल मीन्स कॉर्टिक्स टू स्पाइनल कॉर्ड सो दिस इज द कॉर्टिको स्पाइनल एंड द थर्ड टाइप इज एक्स्ट्रा पिरामिडल फाइबर्स सो वी हैव थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा पिरामिडल फाइबर्स कॉर्टिको रूबरल कॉर्टिको स्टेराइटेड एंड कॉर्टिको निगरल सो कॉर्टिको रूबरल मीन्स इट इज प्रेजेंट इन रेड न्यूक्लियस दैट इज इन मीड ब्रेन कॉर्टिको स्टेराइटेड इन कॉर्पस स्ट्राइटम एंड कॉर्टिको निगरल इन सब्सटेंशिया नाइग्रा so this fibers coming from cortex to red nucleus corpus striatum and substantia nigra so is hisab se unke naam pade hain very simple right now most important part is why are we learning these fibers in internal capsule so this frontopontine fibers are passed through anterior limb genu and posterior limb parietopontine and occipitopontine fibers are passed through retrolentiform nucleus while temporopontine passed through सब लेंटिफॉर्म न्यूक्लियस वाई वी आर लर्निंग दिस बिकॉज दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ समथिंग हैपन्स टू पर्टिकुलर पार्ट लाइक इफ सम रीजन्स ऑकर इन जीनो देन अकॉर्डिंग टू विच फाइबर इज डैमेज देर इज क्लिनिकल रिस्पॉन्स टू अवर बॉडी वेर एज कॉर्टिको न्यूक्लियर फाइबर्स प्रेजेंट इन जेनू एंड कॉर्टिको स्पाइनल फाइबर्स आर प्रेजेंट इन पोस्टीरियर लिम सो दिस इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन सेंसरी न्यूरोन्स विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज असेंडिंग एंड कॉर्टिको पेटल न्यूरोन्स Look over here. This fibers start from thalamus and end at cortex. So, simply it is thalamocortical fibers, which is sensory fiber. So this is all about the fibers in internal capsule. If you want details, you can comment in comment section. Now, let's talk about the blood supply. We already discussed in our previous video blood supply of the brain. So we know the circle of Willis, right? Anterior limb supplied by anterior cerebral artery and recurrent artery of huberner and middle cerebral artery while look over this image genu it is supplied by striate branch of anterior cerebral middle cerebral and direct branches from internal carotid artery posterior limb it is supplied by middle cerebral artery and charcot artery of cerebral and sublentiform part it is supplied by posterior cerebral and anterior choroidal artery and retrolentiform part it is supplied by posterior cerebral so all are the striate branches from the different types of arteries which supplies the internal capsule just remember anterior limb anterior cerebral and middle cerebral genu is anterior cerebral middle cerebral and internal carotid posterior limb middle cerebral and anterior choroidal sublentiform is posterior cerebral and anterior choroidal and retrolentiform part is posterior cerebral and all are the striate branches so this is all about internal capsule thanks for watching this video